Hi guys! Today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm just going to wing it I think. Maybe some eyebrows to match my hair, possibly. It's, sorry if it's a bit loud because it's really windy outside. I dyed my hair, when did I dye it? So maybe two, two weeks ago? Was it two weeks ago or three weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago and it has faded out a lot as you can see but I quite like how it's faded out it's fa for some reason this part of my hair just won't fade so the orange and the yellow is just hanging about but the orange the red and the pink have all faded into the same sort of color and then the blue the yellow and the green have all faded into like blue so my hair is mostly pink and blue now but with like the odd like little yellow bit under there and a bit of orange under there but I quite like it I'm mixing a really old bourgeois foundation well it's a CC cream but it's really old and I want to use it up because it ain't vegan and I'm mixing that with my Kat Von D foundation which is also very old because it's in the old packaging but it's far too light for me so it needs to be mixed with something and it's pretty thick so it's nice to make it not so thick it's still pretty thick though I just filmed a video and the makeup turned out really boring and not that great so I decided to take it all off and start again and maybe do something a bit too over the top maybe I'm feeling fancy today I've got over the top hair so maybe I should do some over the top makeup for a change well not for a change I think I do over the top makeup anyway but I'm talking like very very bright I use that Kat Von D foundation on its own and just put that under my eye That's because it's so light and it works quite well as I can see there. Because it's pretty thick. I'm just going to put that around here too where I've got spots. Yeah, I'm going to take my Kiko Matte Fusion Powder and just like wipe my Beauty Blender, not Beauty Blender, my Real Technique sponge on it. And just that under my eyes so that my concealer doesn't crack too much and I take this big brush and put that powder everywhere I take some of my Too Faced Love Flush blush on one of these this can come out super crazy I'm kind of okay with that. I want very pink cheeks for this. Now I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Contour Powder in the colour Breakup, which is for porcelain skin. So it's like, is it a cool toned? I guess it is cool toned. It's still pretty warm to me though. might look crazy at first but I'm really gonna blend it in I'm gonna put some up here I found the highlighter this is MUA's Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in Iridescent Gold this highlighter is a little bit mental a bit crazy as you can see very I think I quite it goes on a bit look at how crazy that is I love it I like how gold it is like it probably isn't the best for my skin tone but I like how gold it is I'm gonna do my eyebrows I said I wanted to do my eyebrows to match my hair didn't I so should I draw out my hmm 
just gonna lightly draw out my eyes with my, my eyebrows with my normal pencil. And then I'll add some colour to it. So I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick in this pink, maybe. Let's take my eye. This is what I usually use for my dip brow. So I'm just gonna like dip it like this. See how this goes. This is Kat Von D's mother liquid lipstick, if you wondered. Oh my goodness. It's pink. <laughs> Okay, now that's a pink eyebrow. Should I do... I'll do the other one pink. I'm scared that this is going to be a thing that I do every day now. <laughs> I'm going to get addicted to the pink brows. They're on. Do I like them? I mean, I'm not mad at them. I don't go for pink brows. I should probably go for pink eyeshadow. Do you think? Or should it be... Ooh, okay, right. I'm just going to put a cream eyeshadow on my eyelids. I'm going to start off with this colour, which I always use because it's one of my fave colours. So I'm just going to use that in my crease. Just as a peachy transition colour. Now I'm going to go into this pink, which is from Colourpop, which is called, what is this called? I hope I don't bloody break this by trying to get it out. Okay, this is called Stay Golden by Colourpop. These eyeshadows are a tiny bit dusty, as in like they kick back a lot. But that's okay. Okay, I'm going to take this colour, which is Backlight from Makeup Geek. It's one of their duo chrome eyeshadows. I'm just going to take it on this, what is this called? A13 Spectrum Brush. And I'm just going to put that under... What, what is this part of my eye called? Not my waterline, but like just before my waterline. I'm going to just take this out a little bit just so it sort of connects with my eyeshadow on my top on the top bit on my eyelid you know? I'm going to take that pink that stay golden again but on a thinner brush and just deepen up the crease a bit that A13 brush again but go into this colour which is Masquerade by Makeup Geek and just put that closer to my eye just to add a little bit of depth to that other eyeshadow I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just saying words. I might just go into this eyeshadow, which is almost pointless. I hate this. I never, I, thought, I wish I never bought it because it's called Sorbet and it's by Makeup Geek. It's just a bit crap. <laughs> like, hardly anything comes up from it. But I'm just going to use it to make my lid a bit lighter. I need to buy a new one of these tattoo liners by Kat Von D because it's running out. Ooh. Okay, just gonna do a little wing, which is what everyone says, I know, but hopefully, I'll actually will only do a little wing.
Well, not that little Alice, come on. Okay, that's the wing done. Now I'm going to do the other one. But I'm going to do it off camera because I know I'm going to mess it up. So, eyeliner was a success. Just don't be scared to reuse eyelashes, people. These 113, whatever you want to call them. Ardell's are very nice. Ooh. I saw um, Carly Bible wearing them, so... And they looked really nice, so I bought some from Amazon. They're only like four pounds. Next time, I think I'm gonna buy the um, multi pack because it works out like you you get one free pair of lashes or something. Get off! No! He dropped on my thumb. It's okay man, it's okay. Oh, let's try that again. My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna use these tweezers, which aren't lash tweezers, but. Don't get stuck to the tweezers now. Oh my goodness, this is just a disaster. Everything's getting stuck to things. Okay, don't happen again, please. Oh my god, this happened again. For flip's sake. This is just a nightmare. I need to put more glue on him now. Makeup, does this happen to people? Because I never see in makeup videos this happening to people. And they just put it on first try and it gets stuck to nothing. Mine gets stuck to everything it touches. Like my fingers. The, oh, for goodness sake, I'm getting glue everywhere. I think I just need to calm down. My fingers are getting all sticky. I'm just going to use my fingers to do this because. Oh, hang on, no. I need to use the tweezers. Right, let's make sure the tweezers aren't sticky. And let's get a bit that isn't attached to the glue. Oh my god, it almost happened again. Putting eyelashes on is either like the most easy thing ever or it just goes horribly wrong, like there's no in between. Or there's just no in between for me. Okay, I think he's on okay. We just need him to dry. Okay, I'm gonna put, while this is drying, I'm gonna put on Kat Von D's bow and arrow liquid lipstick. Just while I wait for my, my, what, what, what am I saying? My eyelashes to dry. I'm just using this natural collection mascara. And then a trick that I do when my eyelashes aren't really melding into my other eyelashes or there's bits that look a bit funky, I always get a really cheap um, liquid eyeliner which is like one of these pot ones and just like darken up the eyelashes like if it's from using an eye like an eyeshadow on it before when I've used them twice or if it's just the glue it won't go away or whatever just to make them look a bit more seamless I just do that. It's 
the trick. Okay, I think he's dry now. So, that's the end of my video, I guess. What's in my pocket? Lip balm. I could have used that. Uh, that's the end of my video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you think I should wear pink eyebrows more often, then leave me a comment. <laughs> if you want to see this face, then hit the subscribe button. And I'll uh, see you next time. Bye. You've forgotten in a corner highlight. Oh my god. How bad am I? I'm just using that highlighter. So much better. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.